Hello, hello. Welcome to, back to my channel. So, today I am just doing this page in my dialogue journal. Um, what I'm going to do, or attempt to do, I'm challenging myself to make a video every day for the next seven days and upload them for you. So when this one comes out, there should be another one tomorrow and so on and so forth. But when I seen this, this is the um, how to make a clear plastic window. Um, I showed that in a previous video. And when I seen this, it reminded me of like a, a submarine of sorts, like a, the telescope on a submarine. And I thought, oh, that's perfect because I had seen Diane make a page where she used her fish face stamps and I've been wanting a reason to try it so here we go what I'm gonna start off with is I am using this stamp from the Dilusions she sells seashells stamp set I'm just gonna take my stamping block and put it right here on the end I'm gonna take my archival ink because this is black and I like to balance out my pages as much as I can. But I'm only gonna ink up the top of it because that's pretty much all I'm gonna use of it here. So let's give it a good ink in. Let me move that. And I'm just gonna put it in sporadic areas. Like for instance, I want a little bit of it down here, which it may not go because it is in the middle, but we'll see what we get. Okay. Get some more. Let me go over here. Just halfway off the page, halfway on. Okay. not much ink in the middle there there we go and then because at this page I've got the um, Brad's holding her little horns on <laughs> I'm going to take another one of my stamping blocks and I just got a piece of paper towel on it I'm gonna put that under there just to give me a flat surface to press against because I want this in this corner about here. Okay. Get some more ink. Oh, that went all over my finger. Oh no. That's gonna drive me crazy. I'm just trying to put a few around the page. Let's see if I can't get it to go in the middle up there, but I'm not sure it will. I think I'm done with that for the moment. Turn it and right there, maybe. over here and then that's probably all I'll do here in this corner. So that there we go. All right. Now I'll wipe off my stamp. Okay. Put it away. got 
the little bubbles from the uh, Plenty of Fish in the Sea set, which is one of the images that I'm actually going to use. So I have those, and instead of doing them in the black, I want to do them in the blue in just random places. Um, it's Mermaid Lagoon. And I'm just going to put them randomly. It's not going to matter where they go. I don't have a smaller stamping block up here, or else I would use that. about here just all over the place although I know I'm gonna have a big image here that you're not really gonna see them so it won't matter let's do some maybe here So the next thing is I am going to be using the these pieces of my border pages for the top and the bottom like this. So I'm going to go ahead, fold them in half, snip them like I do in every other thing whenever I'm going across the page. Get my scissors, which are in my A apparently. I have a very, very creaky tr chair. It's actually an antique chair that belonged to my husband's great-great-grandmother and my late mother-in-law um, put it back to its original state and I am using that as my chair up here right now so that's kind of exciting all right go ahead and peel the backs off of these. There's a pretty good chance you may hear my dogs. My backyard is just right there and they're out there. We have one that even though it's raining she just she loves it. She likes to go out there and just play in the rain and it's like ugh, it's annoying because when she comes in she needs to be cleaned up but she's old and that's what she likes to do for fun, apparently. All right, get these done really fast. Grab my glue stick. Putting some glue on. down on there now with these I did choose to stay in the warm colors sorry the cool colors um, just because I liked it like that you know I said guys I'm going to try my best to record at least seven days of me doing my day-by-day -day journal for you all if for no other reason but to give you inspiration to either a start one of your own or B you can do it on even a random page or whatever you know make a, a um, oh goodness just a page for fun, I guess. I was so excited, and I know this is probably gonna sound a little dumb, but I was very excited when I seen this page and it reminded me of this because there was a video that Diane Reevely had done and she had done this technique and I think it's simple, but it's cute. 
and I wanted to try it. I never really had a reason to use that stamp. So I thought now is as good a time as any. Okay, one more. Are you all doing hopefully well is it crappy rainy weather where you're at too <laughs> I cannot wait for the spring and the summer in the summertime we spend 98% of our time at our lake lot because our children enjoy that and I gotta say we enjoy it too but nothing beats quality time with your family so I'm excited for it. All right. Now we have, this is where I want to go in and I'm just going to take my fresh lime and my Calypso tool and I'm just gonna color in some of these. Not all of them, just some. Just to give it that much more color. might actually just go ahead and complete them so I don't have to worry on it. And it's just random. I'm picking the ones at random. Because even though I'm going over it with the colors, you can still see that it's black. And to me, that balances my page because I have the black here. Let me see. Yeah. like crap but I'll figure out something to do with it I'm done with that now here is the images that I chose this is from the plenty of fish in the sea and then I thought okay why can't fish be dapper gentlemen so I got this hat from um, the dilutions uh, man about town the duo set so it's the smaller one and all I did was I cut it out and then I figured out where I wanted it to slide over because I want it to go over and then I just cut it straight up there and what I'm going to do with this is I put some double-sided tape on the back right here and this is where okay there we go I am going to adhere it to it so that way I'm gonna adhere the hat to the fish because it's a lot easier than trying to lift it up and tuck it in after that. And I'll show you. Put a little bit of glue and just take it, place it right where you want it, just like that. And now it is stuck on there. And I'm gonna go ahead and peel the rest of these off. because I wanted him on there. Okay. And actually, where my page is being held down is where he's gonna go. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my glue everywhere that I know that it's going to be on my page. Now with this one, because I wanted him hanging off of the page, I didn't even color the tail because I'll save it and use it somewhere else. 
so I'm just going to put him, I guess, right about here. I'm pressing down really well. Okay. Move that aside. This is the fish face stamp that I was talking about. And for him, what she had done was she made it where you could lift up the towel and write underneath. So all she did was she took something with the straight edge and ran it along where she wanted it to come up, which is, I'm gonna do it right along there. Like this. And then you just fold it up to give it that crease, like so. And now it'll just kind of move up and down. And then put double-sided tape only on the piece that's gonna adhere down, so this one. And that's why I hadn't put the double-sided tape on this one already, is because I wanted to make sure I knew exactly where it needed to go. Put it right up to the edge there, and then put a good amount on just especially on the ones that are able to come up off the page that are interactive like this, you want to put a good amount of your tape on. There we go. And peel this off. Like so. Oops. No, no, no. Take your glue stick. Go over only where the tape is. Don't go over here any. So I'm gonna lift that up so I don't get it on that side. There we go. Okay. And because this young man's going to have a hat as well, I am going to bring over his hat from, um, let's see, I think this is from the Dilusions Drink Me set, and it's just gonna go right up here, and that's gonna help me figure out where this needs to go, because I don't want it too high or too low. So probably about there, I would say. And press it down really well. And I did color the hats in the warm colors because you can see through to the warms over here and I just wanted to pull that onto this page as well. So let's put the hat on and then he has one more component to him. This has usually got a 10 slash 6 on, but I didn't want that there, so I just went over with my black paint pen and covered it up. And I figure every gentleman needs a nice watch, so this dapper young man is going to be wearing a watch, and this is from the um, Delusions Day at the Races, I believe. Duo set. this right here over his little fin because I say it needs to go there. Okay. Then there's one more thing I'm going to do before I outline everything and cut off the edge, which I guess I can snip the edge off of, or the edges off over here really fast. Turn my book over. Just like that. 
and look, you can see his little tail. How cute. Okay. So the last thing I'm going to do is I have my, oh goodness me, my water brush is here. And I have one that's just got water in because it's more, it's a lot cheaper and more economical for me just to have the full strength in one and then use a regular water brush to dilute them down. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take this Calypso tail. I'll put a very little bit out on my mat. I'm going to take my water brush, give it a good squeeze, and just run it around a little bit because I want it extremely light. And then I'm going to go inside of these circles just like this. And do it again, just to give them a bit of color. Not a whole lot, but a bit. Okay, push that guy up. Just helps them stand out a little bit more. And even doing this, you can still, because I usually do my writing in my black paint pen, you'll still be able to see it, which I'll have room to write here, down here, and around this. So, now the very last thing to do outside of writing about this page, and I'm not gonna do that right away, is to go in and outline everything. With my black paint pen, Again, I go over everything, even the hats and stuff that are on top. It just helps them stand out more. Okay. Now for this guy, you don't want to go over the tail. I mean, I, unless you do and you just want to write inside of it. But just lift him up and draw. I'm just going to draw one straight across there where it's at. And then up. And all of this. Go over it. his hat down here and I believe other than this side that's everything is it not yep like I said I've been waiting to try this out I wanted a good reason to and this page just reminded me of underwater for some reason all because of this little window that I created and I actually like it I think it turned out really cute and then Whenever I'm ready, I'll go in and I'll write about it under here, and then they just have to put that up to read it, and up here, and then around there. So there you go. There is the page for today, the video for today, exactly. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it gave you some inspiration, and like me, you know, I seen Diane had done this, and it inspired me to want to try it. I didn't get to try it right away because I didn't really have a good reason to, but now I do. And... It has stuck with me this whole time. So, yeah. Okay. Well, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I hope you stay safe, stay warm. And if you like the video, please give it a like. If you're not yet subscribed, please subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.